what sort of symptoms did you hear when you went into the hospital down there? Oh, I got to where I couldn't sleep, I couldn't rest, I couldn't do anything. And I started cursing my wife, accusing her of all kind of things. It wasn't anything to do, it was just me. And I went to the hospital on my own. Nobody made me go. I, I went myself. You couldn't sleep. You couldn't, couldn't sleep. And I didn't walk the floor, but I had to stay up. Did you find yourself worrying about things? Yes, I was worried. I always worry over the most simplest things. What sort of things would you find yourself worrying about? My physical, physical condition is one thing. That's been, uh, I think, the main thing. Just okay. worrying that we're not being able to get well. I think that's what started all of it all. Was this in relationship to the epididymitis? Or have there been other physical problems that you've had? No, sir, that's all. The that epididymitis is all I've ever had. I didn't go to a doctor or nothing. I was in perfect health. See, my all of it has been, the worst of it has been within the last two years. Were there other things that you found yourself worrying about before you went into the hospital treat for it? None of any importance. How was your spirits at that time? My spirits has never been too low. Didn't feel too blue or sad? No, sir. I never thought about killing myself. No, sir. I'm not, I'm not that bad. You said you began to accuse your wife of things. Uh, could you tell me about that? I guess I just got all over it in my head. That's, that's all I know. But she's not running around. She never has. And I don't know what they were doing. I just, just got off the balance already. Had you ever felt suspicious like that before? No, sir. You ever felt suspicious no, towards other people? Oh, well, I've been saying I've always been afraid of big crowds. And like we are here, that. This doesn't bother, bother me at all, but around big crowds, I don't know, I just feel out of place or something. But it has to be big crowds, but people that I know, I'm not that, that way about them. Have you ever had the feeling that you weren't getting a fair deal, that people might not be mm -hmm. treating you no, properly? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. You mentioned that you found yourself uh, being irritable, uh, sort of yelling at your wife. Did you feel angry at that time? I think, I don't know whether you call it angry or not. It seemed like everything just bored me. I don't know, I was just miserable. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good word, just miserable. I couldn't sleep and, and back. You found yourself worrying about things. And, uh, Another thing, two years ago, I got out of my stomach. I started vomiting. I couldn't eat anything. And I went that way for the whole two years. And when I went to Street Sport and I uh, started taking that nerve medicine, my stomach got all right, and now I can eat anything. Had you felt nervous? I think I've always been nervous a little bit, but... How'd you notice that? Oh, I don't know. It, it, just a pinpoint. How would you feel when you would recognize that you were nervous? How, how did being nervous affect you? Oh, I've always had a, had a nervous feeling. I just don't know how to put that. Sort of shaky on the inside? Or? On the inside, I suppose. That, but when I went to the hospital, I was shaking on the outside. I could